Hi, this is Helena Hart from CommitmentConnection.com, and in this video, I wanted to answer a question I received from a woman in our community who wanted to know some signs that a man is interested in her, but he's too afraid to pursue her or make the first move or ask her out for whatever reason, or may even want her to be the one to do those things. This is actually a pretty common situation these days, believe it or not. So hopefully this will be really helpful for you. Maybe you've experienced this. I know I I definitely have. But before I get started, if you're ready to attract the man you want into a committed relationship, or you're with a man and you want to strengthen the connection and bring him closer than ever, be sure to click the button to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all of our latest videos. So the first sign that a man is interested, but he's too afraid to make the first move, or maybe he wants you to be the one to move things forward or ask him out for the first time, is that that he always finds reasons to be around you and to talk to you, but he doesn't pursue you for a relationship for whatever reason. He just stops short of asking you out. There could be many reasons for this, and I've just been hearing this from so many women lately, so maybe you're in this situation. Uh, there's things you can do to sort of encourage him to step up and make the first move without having to like chase him and pursue him for a committed relationship, because in my experience, when you chase a guy or when you're the one trying to move things forward, that will push a man away if he's a masculine energy man. So. I'm all about encouraging men and being an invitation for them to step into their masculine energy and make a move or ask you out without you having to jump into your masculine energy and do those things yourself. So one way to do that is to sort of steer the conversation towards you know dating or love or something like that so let's say you work together for example you know try talking about some uh, non-work related topics like you know what you did over the weekend or what you're planning to do next weekend and of course you want to use feminine energy language when you're talking to him so be sure to talk about how things feel to you that's very attractive and magnetic especially if he's a masculine energy man so if you're friends like if you're just in the same circle of friends and you get the sense that he's interested, try steering the conversation away from just platonic topics and more towards maybe what you're looking for in a man or dating or love or sex or something like that to sort of indicate to him that you see him as someone that you could possibly date. So that's the first sign. The second one is that he tells you how he feels about things, but he doesn't ask you out. Or again, he stops short of making that first move move. So if a man shares things with you that he doesn't necessarily share with anyone else in his life or everyone else, that's a great sign. It really indicates that he feels safe with you, which men absolutely need to feel in order to come close. They need to feel that from a woman, you know, for a potential relationship. They have to feel safe opening up and they have to feel that you're just going to accept him for who he is and what he's sharing. So that's fantastic. If a man opens up to you, I would just have all the acceptance in the world for him and just really let him know that you're that safe space that, you know, he can come close to and you know reveal things about himself and of course you want to be doing that as well and see how he responds you know does he accept you does he like you for who you are or does he dismiss your feelings or you know does he seem to be judgmental of you you know these are really important things to take a look at when you're you know, trying to figure out whether this man could be a good relationship partner. So this, the third sign is that he shares his feelings about you, but he stops short of confessing his love. Um, this is a pretty common situation these days. I hear from women all the time, you know, who, who are experiencing this. So you know, this, uh, this could indicate that he's kind of waiting for the right time or the right setting in order to ask you out. And just like the second sign, what you want to do is just, you know, rather than being the one to jump into your masculine energy and move things forward or ask him why he hasn't asked you out yet, you know, really being patient with him and um, leaning back into your feminine energy and just, you know, creating a safe space for him to walk into. 
And if he's the right man for you, he's going to want to step into that space and move things forward all on his own. But timing is such an important factor when it comes to dating and the early stages of a relationship. So he may just be waiting for the right time or the right setting because he doesn't want things to be awkward. Or maybe he's in a period in his life where he's really focused on work or uh, something else is going on. He may be moving or taking a trip soon, and he wants to just wait for the right time. Now, of course, I never suggest just waiting around for a man. You want to have a full, complete life for yourself. You know, every second you spend just waiting on a man, in my experience, you know, his attraction for you can start to fade if he knows you're just going to always be waiting around for him. So there's sort of a fine line between being in your feminine energy and being an invitation and encouragement of him when he does open up to you. That will hopefully give him the courage to open up more about how he actually feels about you. So that's the third sign. The fourth one is that he actually does tell you how he feels about you, but then he leaves or he doesn't take the next step and ask you out. You know, if that's the case, he might sense that you don't reciprocate his feelings and he had enough courage to go ahead and confess them to you. But if he doesn't uh, get the sense that you feel the same way, then he might retreat and back off. You know, men are really sensitive to rejection, just like we are in a lot of ways, you know? And if, let's say, your friends or your coworkers, he, he probably doesn't want to, like, sabotage things in that sense, just like we would. So, if he actually does, you know, confess his feelings for you, I would say then absolutely if you feel the same way, you can let him know and you're just responding to him by letting him know that you feel that way too. Responding is a very feminine energy quality. So you want to think of yourself as just constantly responding to a man and being encouraging of him without again leaning forward and jumping into your masculine energy and trying to like push things along or move things forward. Because even if a man is sort of afraid to make the first move, if he's a masculine energy man, you know, if you're the one trying to chase him or pursue a committed relationship with him, uh, you will sense him start to pull away and back off. It's just the natural energy exchange in dating and relationships. So you want to, again, be in your feminine energy, but be warm and open and receptive to him. And then if he's the right man for you, that will hopefully um, encourage him to step up and um, ask you out because he's not going to be afraid that you're going to shoot him down or reject him. So I hope that was helpful for you. I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences with this. Feel free to type those into the comment section and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to discover exactly what to say and do to get the man and relationship you've always wanted, click the button on the right side of this video to visit our website, and I will talk to you soon.